If you're a true gamer, you know that a video game intro can truly set the tone for the entire experience. For this list, we're looking at the greatest intros in video game history. So, let's dive in and see which games made the cut. Did your favorite make the cut? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our latest gaming content. Kicking off our list at number 15 is the dramatic opening scene of Assassin's Creed II. This cinematic moment introduces us to Ezio, who witnesses his family's betrayal and sets the stage for his journey of revenge in Renaissance Italy. The scene features powerful storytelling, as Ezio vows to seek revenge against those who wronged him. The opening scene also establishes Assassin's Creed II as one of the best games in the series, with its own rich historical setting and engaging gameplay mechanics. Moving on to number 14, we have the serene and mysterious opening of Breath of the Wild. As Link is awakened in a pool of mysterious blue liquid after being asleep for 100 years, players are immediately drawn into the breathtaking world of Hyrule, setting the tone for an epic adventure. From this point on, Link is free to explore the vast open world of Hyrule at his leisure, with only the natural beauty of the landscape as his companion. This scene is truly unforgettable. At number 13, we have the iconic opening scene of Final Fantasy VII. With Cloud and Barret battling against Shinra soldiers in the heart of Midgard, the initial Final Fantasy game not only marked a significant transition towards 3D graphics for the franchise, but also set a storytelling standard that few have been able to surpass. The game featured memorable characters and locales, making it an ideal candidate for an unforgettable opening sequence. This was followed by Final Fantasy VII, which showcased the different areas of Midgard and panned through the city before focusing on Cloud and Avalanche aboard a train. This scene was so well received that Square Enix recreated it in Crisis Core, and its appearance in the remake was enough to give us chills. Coming in at number 12 is the intense opening scene of Nier Automata. Although Nier Automata was not the first game in its universe, it didn't require knowledge of its predecessors to be enjoyed. The characters and story have become iconic and Square Enix continues to keep them relevant. The opening sequence is particularly impressive, starting with 2B's monologue and then transitioning into a top-down view of a ship before moving into a Mech Bullet Hell segment and finally into the main combat of the game. The camera angles constantly change and the pace never slows down, culminating in a display that effectively highlights the cyclical nature of the game's world. Taking the 11th spot is the cinematic opening of Far Cry 5. The Far Cry series has established a reputation for its memorable villains, and the fifth installment of the franchise is no exception. The game's primary antagonist sets the stage for an impressive opening sequence that draws players into the game's world. The intro depicts the player assisting in the arrest of cult leader Joseph Steed, a man who has amassed a devoted following of fanatics. The sequence showcases just how far Steed's followers are willing to go to keep their leader out of prison and stop the player, even if it costs them their own lives. The scene of arriving by helicopter and infiltrating the cult's church to apprehend their leader creates a highly atmospheric introduction. The player is immediately thrust into the heart of the action, surrounded by a group of cultists who will stop at nothing to protect their leader. Stepping into the top 10, we have the humorous opening scene of Portal 2. Although the first Portal game was enjoyable, it lacked a compelling storyline. However, Portal 2 changed that by delivering one of the most memorable and humorous video game narratives ever. It all begins with a spectacular opening sequence where Chell, who has been kept in stasis for an unknown period, is rescued from her deteriorating, artificial apartment by Wheatley. He takes control of the entire apartment and crashes it through several walls. Yet, the true opening moment arguably occurs later in the first chapter when GLaDOS is unintentionally reactivated by Chell. GLaDOS then proceeds to reboot herself and repair Aperture Science. Good news! That is not a docking station! When Skyrim was released in 2011, the inclusion of dragons was highly anticipated by fans. Bethesda was aware of this excitement and ensured that the dragons had a significant impact right from the start. The game begins in a subtle manner, as you find yourself among a group of rebels being transported for execution by the Imperials. As the other passengers are executed one by one, the tension builds until it is your turn. Just as you are about to be beheaded, a dragon's roar echoes in the distance, instantly igniting anticipation. Within seconds, the dragon arrives in all its glory, wreaking havoc on everything around you. This dramatic introduction sets the stage for an epic journey of exploration and dragon slaying. The 
Far Cry franchise is renowned for its captivating antagonists, with Far Cry 3 standing out as the best. The game series has taken us to different locations and stories. In Far Cry 2, we encountered African arms dealers amidst a civil war, while Far Cry 3 brought us to a secluded Malaysian archipelago where drugs rule. Initially, it appears to be a fun and enjoyable experience as we witness a group of college students engaging in various activities such as extreme sports, partying, and drinking. However, we soon discover that they have been abducted by Vaz and are being held for ransom. This sets the stage for an intense and deadly escape mission in the midst of a tropical paradise, with Vaz emerging as one of the most memorable villains in gaming history. But is this not fun anymore? Have I failed to entertain you? You see, the thing is, up there, you thought you had a chance. Way up in the fucking skies, you thought you had your finger on the pussy trail. But hermano, down here, down here, you hit the ground. The primary objective of any superhero game is to provide the player with a sense of being a superhero. Insomniac, the developer of Marvel's Spider-Man, succeeded in achieving this goal within the game's initial moments. The opening scene portrays Peter waking up to discover that Kingpin is causing chaos. His apartment is unkempt, and he is behind on his rent. This is precisely what Spider-Man fans anticipate, as the character struggles to balance his personal and heroic lives. Once he dons his suit, Peter immediately leaps out of the window and begins web-slinging towards Kingpin. Within seconds, you are given control of the character and can start swinging around Manhattan. In the first five minutes of gameplay, you genuinely feel like Spider-Man and are eager to experience the adventure that lies ahead. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! Sucker Punch took a long break after their game in Famous Second Son, and their next project was initially unknown. However, it turned out to be an open-world samurai game inspired by classic Kurosawa movies. The story follows Jin Sakai, one of the last samurais, as he fights against the Mongol Empire after they invade Tsushima Island. The opening is particularly effective because it shows that despite the samurai's reputation, they lose the battle and the Mongolians take over Tsushima. This sets up Jin's character development and emphasizes the samurai's unwavering belief in honor during warfare. <laughs> Taking the fifth place is the explosive opening of Watch Dogs 2. The intro of Watch Dogs 2 is memorable due to its immediate action and dynamic hacking mechanics. Players are thrust into the role of Marcus Holloway, a charismatic character infiltrating a corrupt corporation's facility. This engaging sequence showcases Marcus' personality, sets the game's rebellious tone, and introduces themes of social justice and activism. The stunning visuals and innovative blend of hacking and action contribute to the scene's impact, leaving players eager to explore the game's narrative and gameplay. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Although the original Uncharted game was considered good when it was released, it hasn't aged well compared to its three sequels. Uncharted 2, on the other hand, is bigger and better in almost every aspect. This is evident from the very beginning of the game, where Nathan Drake wakes up in a train car that's hanging off a cliff after being bloodied, bruised, and stabbed. The camera then pans out to show the grandeur of the sequel. The following sequence involves a thrilling climbing sequence where Nathan is on the brink of death. After reaching safety, players are eager to find out how Nathan ended up in this predicament, and luckily the game takes them on an expedition to explain the events leading up to this point. The setting of Bioshock is what makes it a remarkable masterpiece. Irrational Games created an unforgettable world called Rapture that instills a sense of fear and hopelessness. The game's beginning is no exception, as you play as Jack, whose plane crashes into the mid-Atlantic. The cries of the remaining passengers are spine-chilling, and as you swim to safety, you come across a lighthouse that leads you to an elevator submerging you to the depths of Rapture. This introduction sets the tone for the game's atmosphere, and Rapture becomes a character in itself. Andrew Ryan's opening monologue educates you on Rapture's ideology. The first glimpse of Rapture is not only one of the best introductions in gaming but also one of the most exceptional moments in gaming history. Is it someone new?
The opening of The Last of Us is incredibly captivating and worth sharing with everyone, even those who don't typically play video games. It has the same intensity and emotional impact as a high-quality movie or a prestigious TV show. The impact of the opening scene lingers in your mind long after the game starts. It all begins with Joel, a father, and his daughter Sarah in a seemingly innocent moment where she wishes him a happy birthday. The scene is accompanied by a beautiful musical theme that sets a heartwarming tone. However, the game quickly takes a dark turn when Sarah wakes up to a phone call from Uncle Tommy, signaling that something strange and dangerous is happening. Chaos erupts as the family tries to escape the spreading chaos. The devastating conclusion, where Joel and Sarah are mistaken for infected and shot at by guards, leaves a lasting impact that leaves you feeling disturbed. This is a perfect example of how to captivate and engage an audience. Get to the highway! What? Go! You got Sarah! I cannot run him! And finally, taking the top spot is the epic opening scene of God of War 3. Unlike some games that take their time to build up the action, God of War 3 jumps right into the fray with an adrenaline-fueled opening sequence. Kratos, alongside other titans, launches an all-out assault on Zeus, driven by his thirst for vengeance. In just half an hour, players get to experience the thrill of taking down three major bosses, including Poseidon himself. The God of War series is renowned for its spectacular set pieces, and developer Santa Monica Studio wastes no time in immersing players in the action. Fans of the franchise can expect nothing less than intense action, epic boss battles, and gore from this highly anticipated sequel. These opening scenes not only grab players' attention but also set the stage for the rich storytelling, immersive worlds, and thrilling gameplay that awaits in each of these incredible video games. If you enjoyed this countdown and share our love for gaming, don't forget to leave a comment below, letting us know which of these opening scenes resonated with you the most. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more content like this every week.